can see there. <laughs> this, as we all know, is a tree. Different parts of a tree. We have right here the trunk. The trunk is very important as it's the main store of water and nutrients for the tree. How does it get these water and nutrients? Mainly through the roots, which we can't actually see, but they're underground spreading all over the forest floor. These roots absorb water and take up nutrients and bring them up through the trunk to the leaves. The leaves are very important because they capture the sunlight. And the sunlight is how a tree gets its energy. This tree right here is a mid-growth tree, which means it's coming up from the understory, soon to be a large dominant tree in the forest. This tree right here is what we would call a sapling. It's in the understory, very small, as you can see. It doesn't really extend that much, but in a couple, uh, couple decades, it just might be one of these bad toads. <laughs> this gargantuan fellow here is a dominant overstory tree. In this forest, the overstory is mainly consisted of conifers. However, the understory is mainly consisted of deciduous trees. So we'll see what happens. As foresters, distinguishing trees such as these two behind me can be difficult at times. So we use different characteristics of the tree to figure it out. This tree has very smooth bark, which is typical for an American beech, such as this one. Whereas this tree has very coarse, kind of potato chip bark, which is characteristic of black cherry. Besides these two factors, we can use leaves, such as these. Though they're very similar, this one is particularly more ovate, which is characteristic of an American beech, whereas this one is more kind of long and elliptical, which is characteristic of the black cherry. However, if we had two different leaves such as this, it would be much easier to describe. This is the maple leaf, and this is a black cherry. Leaf identification are the venation of the leaf. So as you can see, the veins on this one extend from one main vein, other branch outs parallel to each other. Whereas this leaf is palmate, as in the main veins that are multiple all spread out from one source, kind of like the palm of my hand. This is a temperate forest, which means it's seasonal. Therefore, some of the leaves fall off the trees, while some of them, like the pines, keep their leaves round here. And there are many different types of forests in the world, such as tropical rainforests, and some have trees that are can survive in the cold. 